Hi, I'm Dave Jokerst, and I'd like to welcome you back to the series of videos entitled, Are You Aware? In today's video, we're going to talk about fire extinguishers, the proper way to check a fire extinguisher, and the proper use of a fire extinguisher. We're going to go out into the field, and we're going to demonstrate all of the things that are necessary when you check a fire extinguisher. There's a lot more to it than just looking at the gauge. And then we're going to demonstrate to you the proper method of using a fire extinguisher using the PASS, P-A-S-S -S, method. Pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. And we'll demonstrate that a little bit later. Right now, let's go out into the field and look at the proper way to check a fire extinguisher. The six steps to properly check a fire extinguisher. Today we're out at our Luzerne rock plant to do our monthly inspections of fire extinguishers. MSHA requires that we check fire extinguishers on a monthly basis and replace any of them that might be damaged or discharged. The six steps to properly check a fire extinguisher include Step 1. Read the gauge. Step 2. Check the tags. Step 3. Check the hose for obstructions. Step 4. Check the mount. Step 5. Remove the fire extinguisher and invert it five times. Step 6. Recheck the gauge. If the gauge has moved any from the previous inspection, replace the fire extinguisher because this one's ready to go bad. After replacing the fire extinguisher in its mount, check it to make sure that it's securely fastened. Let's review the six steps. Step one, check the gauge. Remember the location of the needle. You'll need it later. Step two, check the tags to make sure that this fire extinguisher was not only checked last month, but that the inspection tag mounted on the fire extinguisher itself is current and up to date. Step three, check the hose for obstructions. Step four, check the mount to make sure that it's properly fastened. Step five, invert the fire extinguisher five times. And step six, reread the gauge and if the needle has moved at all, replace the fire extinguisher. Pass the four steps to properly use a fire extinguisher. We switched locations now and we're outside the Victorville office and we want to demonstrate the proper way to use a fire extinguisher. So let's watch this little clip and see if you could pick out the four steps in pass. Now let's talk about the four steps. Pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. Pass. Pull, aim, squeeze, sweep. Now let's take a look at the four steps of pass and actually put out a fire. Step one, pull the pin. Now notice how I'm holding the fire extinguisher when I go to pull the pin. I'm not holding it by its handle. There's been a lot of documentation about people being killed in a fire while they have a fully charged fire extinguisher in their hand with the handle squeezed completely together and the pin is still in place because they're trying to pull the pin while squeezing on the handle. The pin is there to design specifically so that you can't accidentally discharge a fire extinguisher. Step two, aim at the base of the fire. Step three, squeeze the handle. And step four, sweep back and forth as you approach the fire.
Notice that the fire extinguisher has now been laid on the ground. This is an indication that this fire extinguisher has been used. So in case of an emergency, you won't necessarily pick up an unused fire extinguisher. In today's video, you saw the six steps to properly check a fire extinguisher, and you saw the four steps to properly use a fire extinguisher using the PASS, P-A-S-S, -S, method. But what does this all really mean? What really is a fire extinguisher? We know that it's designed to put out fires. But in one of our earlier videos, we said that a fire extinguisher was a piece of personal protective equipment, or a PPE. What does that mean? A fire extinguisher is designed to give you an avenue of escape. But in a five pound fire extinguisher, what does that really mean, an avenue of escape? It means that you use a fire extinguisher to get out of danger. Let's go back and take a look at something and let's look at how long this avenue of escape really is. This is a five pound fire extinguisher. Let's actually see how long it takes to completely discharge a five pound fire extinguisher. It took a little over 18 seconds. But now let's take another look at this. And I want you to notice now the volume and the distance that the fire extinguisher is actually carrying right now. And notice how that distance and volume changes. After seven seconds, we've lost a foot at least of distance. No way you can tell how much volume other than just a visual look as we continue to show when you get down to around 14 seconds there's hardly anything coming out we've lost at least another foot if not two foot in total distance realistically you've got between 7 and 14 seconds to get out of harm's way seven seconds look at the distance and volume 14 seconds less distance less volume and 18 seconds a five pound fire extinguisher is empty you just saw how long it took to fully use up a fire extinguisher we also talked about the fact that you've got realistically between 7 and 14 seconds to provide an avenue of escape. Hopefully, all of you have a fire extinguisher at home. Hopefully, after today's video, you'll go home and you'll properly inspect that fire extinguisher so that it works in case you ever need it. From what you've seen in today's video, I hope that you will understand that safety is more than just something that happens at work. Certain safety items you have to take home with you and you have to use those safety practices at home. If you take what you saw in today's video home with you, you take it back to work with you, and you ever have to use a fire extinguisher. Hopefully you'll remember. It could save someone's life, whether it be yours, a co-worker's, or even a family member.